Mud Draft got a huge update. This mode has been neglected for so long, but now there's a competitive draft mode that has gold 99s in it. Years ago, one of my favorite things to do was try to build the absolute best draft team that we could possibly build, and we finally can do that again. So it's 15,000 coins to enter. The best team I've ever built to date is a 91 overall. So we're gonna try and beat that today. We're gonna try and build a 92 overall Mud Draft team. And of course, once we build that amazing team, we'll get some gameplay with it. But who knows how long this is gonna take? Let's hop in. You start with a base 88 overall team. <sighs> Tentatively, we'll take Fitz Magic, but you can get more quarterbacks in later rounds, which is exactly what we just got here. Oh, this is actually so good. Gold 99 round has Todd Gurley. We'll have more opportunities at wide receivers. I think we gotta take gold 99 Todd Gurley right here. We're already at 89. And here's a perfect example. We've got a 97 wide receiver, a 97 center, a 97 tight end. I'm gonna take Braxton Berrios. Although maybe Creed Humphrey would have been the move there. Brock Bowers, Ryan Kelly. Brian Robinson's good, but we already got a halfback. We'll go Ryan Kelly. We're already at a 90 overall. This is actually a really good start. Gold 99 to Marcus Ware. Two gold 99s already. Could go corner or left end. I think we go Reggie White just for the overall. Next up, we have 95 free safety Mean Joe Green. I think we take him too. Oh my gosh, this is actually, this first draft is one of the best I've had yet. This is tough. I could go right guard or I could go another wide receiver. I think I'm gonna take Jaden Reed. That puts me at a 91 overall. Oh no, I think that 91 was counting what we just got. I think we go Emmanuel Forbes and on our final round, can this take us to 92? That would actually be so sick if I got it right now. Oh no, this is not good. No, we're gonna be 91. This is a nasty, this is a really, really good team though. This is a crazy good team. It's actually my first draft and we actually got incredibly close. Now the problem is, is in the past, you used to be able to like switch players around and potentially like boost your overall, but you can't do that anymore. They force you to stick with the team that they kind of assembled. You can't switch positions. So honestly a crazy start. Oh uh, yeah, but that's actually what we're looking for. And I still, like in all my drafts, I haven't seen any of the Gold 99 Ring of Honor players yet. We'll also be handing people some free wins today. So congratulations. What's it gonna take to get the 92 overall team? I do have a competitive entry ticket, so let's try that. Coach doesn't matter, so whatever. Mm. This first round is always quarterback. This honestly isn't very good here, but whatever. We'll take Lamar. Yeah! <laughs> That's how people are getting gold 99 quarterbacks. The problem is I've already taken a 96. I really can't go gold 99 Vic here. I could go Jalen Johnson or Howie Long. Ah, I'm going to take Jalen Johnson and hope we get another end option. This round, we got to take Austin Corbett. Next up, oh, thank God we have Joe Tooney in here because these quarterbacks would have screwed us. Joe Tooney's a good option. We're not even at 90 yet. No way. DeMarcus Ware doesn't put me to a 90. I think we go DeForest Buckner here. I don't know if this has it. I really don't know if this has it. Lattimore's nice. So we already got Jalen Johnson. So we go Jeremy Chin. I need this round to be better. This round eight, if it's always just these guys, I'm never going to get it. I know you can get 97 Jerry Judy there. That might be what we really need. We're sitting at a 91, Miles Garrett. And then our final round, that final round wasn't great either because we can definitely get better stuff here on the final round. I guess I'll take a Rackpo. This is probably a weak 91. I wouldn't be shocked if this was 91 offense, 91 defense. Oh, well, it was still pretty weak. 92 defense, 90 offense. That one wasn't gonna cut it. I gotta see other people's top threes. So you could go Brian Branch. I think they have all the Easter gold 99s, then all the Ring of Honor gold 99s, and then it's kind of a, a random mashup of players after that. All right, I'll go, I'll go get one. I'll go get one quick touchdown with this team. Who did I get? Who is our best player? I really didn't get shit on offense, dude. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna airmail a ball up and we're just gonna pray, basically. Ooh, don't even gotta pray. That's actually a pretty good ball. Okay, Jaden Reed. He's gonna be mad when I throw a dot on him here. Dot. Oh, that easy, gentlemen. Assert dominance, concede defeat. Never let him know your next move. <laughs> Come on, 92. Let me see it, baby. I really wanna get it. Yeah, no shit, dumbass. Okay, this is actually a really good start because we get 98 Terry Bradshaw. Every single little piece of overall is gonna matter. So starting with the 98. Fuck, what position are we not going to get a good option for? I feel like I've seen a lot of good safety options, but not a lot of good middle linebacker options. 
and I've seen other tight end options. I think we go Ryan Shazier here. So we start with Ryan Shazier. We've got tight end or tackles. I really don't know. I'm going to go Darnell right, right tackle. Oh, good call because we get a 98 tight end here or a 98 left tackle. I'm going to take 98 Gronk. I think that was the move. Josh Allen, 97 right outside linebacker. I need a safety. I need a good safety. Oh, is that Mean Joe Green safety? Huge. Mean Joe Green's. Oh, this is really good right now. D'Angelo Hall or 99 Leonard Williams. We got to go 99 Leonard Williams. I need a corner after this. So I take gold 99 Leonard Williams. If I can get a corner and a halfback, I'll get 92. I need both though. Wide receiver's actually good. I don't have that either. And 97 Judy's what we're looking for. Nine and 10, come in clutch, baby. Okay. I, hey, I needed a corner. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is it, boys. This is actually it. This is going to be a 92. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Hi, buddy. I'm sorry. I didn't know Oppo was behind me. Look at this good boy. Look at this good boy. We literally just need any halfway decent position on this next one. We'll actually get the 92. Martin Emerson Jr. And, oh no, I don't know if this is going to do it. We need a halfback. Halfback is really important for overall. Sam Hubbard, technically we don't have someone at that position, but I don't know if that's going to push us there. And go Sam Hubbard. No, <laughs> this was so good. I really hope it's possible. That was such a good draft. What did we get? 92 defense, 91 offense. Shit. Maybe we just need every gold 99 that's available. We got a lot there, though. This is going to be a crazy top three. Naturally, of course, we can't see it. Dog shit. You guys know the vibes. Load up a game, assert dominance, leave, right? Laser beam to Jerry Judy. Great catch. Rifle into Gronk. Just kidding. That's Heath Miller, but it doesn't matter. He's going to give me the same throw. Three for three, 74 yards. Not a bad stat line, Bradshaw. I think I can rifle this to Rondale Moore. I think I missed it there. Mm, there it is. Oh, what a beauty. Dominance asserted. We're doing charity work out here, honestly. People are, people are getting ranked up. They're getting those juicy rewards from this, but their ego has to take a hit. Come on, dude, I just want the 92. Okay. Honestly, we got it. I think we got to get a 98 here. So this is not a good start, but we're still going to try this. I'm not going to fully call it a wash. So we're, like, who's the most impactful here? I feel like maybe it's Tony Baselli. Oh, wait a minute. Look in the top right. Look at the top right. It is reflecting my overall, assuming I took the player, which it hasn't always done this. So I'm hovering Baselli, 88. Hovering Ramsey, 89. Hovering letter Williams, 99. Or sorry, 89. So I'm going to take Ramsey. So offensive line looks like it might be the least impact. We'll take 95 Keyshawn Johnson here. 97 McCaffrey's are really good. That's really, really good. If we took Thomas, we'd be a 90. We took Watt, we'd be a 90. And then middle linebacker Derek Carr is also 90. I'm going to take middle linebacker Derek Carr. Maybe this is possible. <sighs> Big round here, round seven. 97 Jabril. 98 Daniel Hunter, 97 Miles Garrett. I'm gonna go Daniel Hunter. Got our 97s here. 97 Judy, Ruiz, and Wilson all take us to the next level. What would turn us into a 92 overall though? That's the real question. Like, what do I need on this these next two rounds? I'm gonna take Jerry Judy because the highest overall. I don't know if that was the right call. 95 Okuda won't do it for us. I don't think punter actually, wow. <laughs> What a, this is actually a fully wasted pick because your punter, your base punter is 94. I'm gonna go Miles Garrett. And then round 10, not what you're looking for in round 10. So it's, it's kind of looking like round 10 might be like wild card because our last round 10 was Sugar Rush. It was all Sugar Rush players. This one is all Genkai Forest players or however you call it. And this is not gonna push us to 92. What happens if I double up a position though? Will it move him to strong safety? Let me try this. Yeah, cause it does generate the best lineup after. So it will move players if you double up on a position. We get a base 91 there, 91D, 91O. We didn't get enough good stuff there. There's no doubt. Run it back, run it back. All right, give me the gold 99 quarterback out the gates. Can you, is that even possible? I don't know if it's possible cause I haven't seen it yet. This round's our gold 99 round, guaranteed. I really feel like Tiki is the move. Ah, I don't know. Is it considering my whole backfield for my overall? That would be bad. I'm taking Tiki. Go Isaiah McKenzie at wide receiver. Ooh, Greg Olson. Gotta be. Okay, this is looking good right now. Joey Porter. This is looking really good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh, this is a step back. This is a step back. This is not good. Can't have a full 93 round, I don't think, if we're going to get 92. Ooh, I did just take corner. But no, it says if I go Fred Williamson, this would take me to gold 99. This is so interesting. I already have one corner. 
corner. But if I took Jeremy Chin, where I have no free safety, I'd still be a 90, but Fred Williamson takes me to a 91. That's shocking. I just don't understand the calculation, but we'll go with Darnell Wright. We have no right tackle. This actually has a chance. That's not a good round. Shit. Really wanted something better than that right there. Um, We'll go Miles Garrett, and then it's all down to the final round, which is a Super Bowl round. Charverius Ward won't do it. Andrew Whitworth won't do it. Joshua Williams won't then either, because he's worse than Ward. Dude, shoot. I'm going to go Whitworth. Oh, that one had to have been close. I wonder what it would have taken, because we got most positions there. That was like a really well-rounded draft. It's got to be a 92 night. Oh, maybe if we had gotten 91 defense. That I think that one 93 round got me in trouble. We're at 93s at every position. 92, 92, 92. We got to speak it into existence. 96 Lamar, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right start, but we do get all three gold 99 options here. Every single one of these says it takes us to 89. I'm going to go Joey Porter Jr., and then we got to hope we get 97 Judy later on. That would make this possible, I think. All these are decent options. I'm going to go Icky. 97 round has a tight end or a right. This is, we're not on pace right now. Not at all. I'm going to take Vernon though. Go 97 Fred Warner next. And then here we've got Jalen Carter, Devin White, Jeremy Chin. I'm going to take Jalen Carter. Oh, big, 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 big. Is it Demarcus Ware or Howie Long? I'm going to go Demarcus Ware. Next up. Ooh, I was hoping to see Jerry Judy here, but we'll take Garrett Wilson. Nine of 10. We see Byron Murphy. Oh, I have Joey Porter Jr. though. I guess we have to go Byron Murphy. Then round 10 of 10. We're not seeing a lot of good players on these round 10s of 10s. Hollywood Brown wide receiver. I'm actually going to take 97 Devin White. Maybe they'll move him to left outside and this could be a 92. Is that possible? I doubt it. That wasn't a very good draft, honestly. 92 defense, 90 offense. Dude, if I've gotten 92 offense and 91 defense, it is possible. Are you sure about that? Okay, okay. Good start. We got 97s on the start. Every single one of these would take me to an 89. I'm gonna rock Palomalu. I don't see a lot of strong safeties in the pool. Ooh, shit. It's actually so good, but obviously you can't move Lamar. So I think we actually have to go Musgrave here since he's gold 99. Two gold 99s already though, and a big 98 round. Oh, this is the best we've looked. This is the best we've looked, boys. We're in a real good spot right now. Okay, hey, there's a 97 in there. BJ Ojolari. Oh, this is huge. Oh my God. If ever there was a time, it's right now. Look at our second D tackle. Jonathan Bedwetter. Who? Oh, we got to go Leonard Williams. Oh my God. If there was ever a time, we're on 91 on round seven. We're on 91 on round seven with, Steph with Gilmore. Oh my God, we have three. We have three rounds to get to a 92. Okay, Ruiz is an ass option. I'm not even going to lie to you. That is not what we want. But at least we can get 94 Garrett Wilson. Round. Mm, this is not good either. This does not help us. It helps a little bit. I guess I'll take Okuda. Round 10. Yes! 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 Who does it? Who pushes us? Marquez Valdez Scantling takes us to a 95. Joshua Williams is still 91. Terrell Davis is a 95. So either of these two takes us to a 95. God damn it! Fuck you. Who would I prefer? Honestly, I don't think I need to double up on wide receivers. Terrell Davis is going to be a great running back. It is so tough to stop the run without abilities. Yes! All right, boys. Hey, we built the best possible draft team. It took me... That take me 10, 11? I, I don't know. I lost count. Yes! Yes! That's so awesome. I'm actually so happy. Okay, so 92 overall. Let's uh, let's actually try and make a championship run here. Let's try it out. Vic Hester Chidobi Uji. He's got a solid squad too. Look at that though. That's what it took. I needed to get all those gold 99 options and the 98s, 97s if not. You know what's funny? is like technically it still could have been a little bit better. Like on that draft round, we got 94 Garrett Wilson. But you have the option for 97 Jerry Judy. But then you have the option for 97 Jerry Judy. And on my quarterback round, I had Lamar 97 when you can get, I think, as high as 98 Terry Bradshaw. I don't know if 93 is possible. It probably isn't because it was that hard for 92. But I don't want to say, I don't want to rule it out, you know? Okay, if you can get a stop on defense, you can definitely win the game. Palomalu has a baked in ability. He's going to go, oh my God. Oh, God, this is going to be such a cheesy game if he's going to be hitting me with that right at the start. Palomalu has pick artists, though. So this would be a really nice user for us. Here goes another run play out of Brian Robinson, second and six. Probably stretch alert bubble again. So I'm going to hop on Palomalu to potentially pick it. He's going to play action, and I was just about to say Hester is so open, but I'm really glad we drafted Gilmore. He was able to catch him. This also has an RPO option on it, this uh, formation. That was RPO. Wow, he's actually going to go RPOs all game. This also potentially an RPO. It is an RPO, but he decides to hand it off. Oh, it's an RPO, but look who's... No. 
No way that got that. What a bummer. Stretch alert bubble. Yep. Stretch alert bubble, a good thing. Brought my whole line over to that side. So he's only gonna get three yards on it. What a loser. This guy's really gonna spam RPOs every play this whole game. This will feel good to win though. So we gotta come out with the win. Great defense. I don't know what this is, I'll be honest. Third and four, a read option, but gold 99 Leonard Williams having none of it. Taking him down to fourth and seven, and he'll take the field goal? Really? Honestly, if it's going to be all offense today, having to kick a field goal is a death sentence. The NMS clapper. <laughs> The no money spent clapper. Well, I guess that does make sense because the rewards for this event is a gold 99. So if you're a no money spent player, this is pretty awesome. So maybe he's just trying to cheese as many wins as he can as fast as he can. I shouldn't talk so much shit. We got some weapons on offense, though. We have no X-Factors, unfortunately. But we've got 99 Luke Musgrave. We got 94 Garrett Wilson. We got 96 Trail Davis or 95. And then 97 Lamar. So lots of good options. Here's Luke Musgrave on our first throw. Eight yards. Beautiful. With no D-line abilities, I think Terrell Davis is going to have a really good game. I didn't build a great offensive line. But still, I mean... You get three yards right there. That's a beautiful thing. I'm gonna come out and Trey Y flex. I'm actually gonna hand this off. I wanna let Terrell Davis cook a little bit today. Good movement. Great movement gives us 9.9 .9 yards on that run right there. Now we have an opportunity, second and inches, to take a shot deep. No need to run the ball here. And as I say that, I'm actually probably gonna, oh, I'm not gonna lose yards. Terrell Davis is shifty. A big stiff arm, too. Looks like he's camping in cover four quarters. So I just got to play slow and smart. It's not too difficult of a defense to beat. I run a lot myself. Oh, shit. I meant to hit A and then hold X for a rack, and I accidentally hit them too quickly, and it threw to X, which he fully had guarded and came off of for a quarter of a second. I have no idea why. I just got so lucky. That's crazy. Ooh, I had that. I had the running back. Second and 10. I'm going to try to run the ball again. Ooh, covers that really well. We'll go third and nine here. Ooh, got a little laser right in there. Luke Musgrave, gold 99, makes a great catch. Going to go no huddle here and hopefully be able to hit Garrett Wilson underneath. He's on Hickman. Stepping up with Lamar. We got speed with Lamar. Don't fumble. Nine yards out of Lamar Jackson. And there's the two minute warning. Ooh, that is an issue though. The clock's an issue because I'm gonna score here and then he's gonna try and chew clock. Just gonna go with an eye form stretch here. I like how this looks. Oh, just cut this up the middle truck through Terrell Davis, but he gets first and goal. He calls a timeout. Definitely wants to have the clock available for this. I'm gonna go power O. See if we can just smash mouth this right into the end zone. We can. Too easy. Two point conversion. Easy. If he catches it, what a catch. That was one of the base 88s. Okay, now here's the issue. If he chews the entire clock and scores in no time left, that would suck. Gun bunch, tight end. This can be an RPO. I, all I'm thinking about is the RPOs now, to be honest. But maybe he's going to air it out now because clock is important. Just to play action. He really doesn't have anything open, and Michael Vick's gonna get sacked by BJ Ojolari. Great defense. Second and 17, I'm gonna guest pass here again, and this also has an RPO. It's like a little flat. Oh wait, he went Hester last time here. He went Hester last time here, I remember. And he's gonna go Hester again, except that's not the same route he had on Hester. Luckily, oh no. Yeah, we did, we kept him in bounds there. I was just about to say, that didn't look like it, but that was in bounds. Same thing. Now he's getting underneath the Hester. He'll go into the middle to Kincaid. Now he's got to call a timeout. 47 seconds here. I, I, this is where we either got to let him, maybe not let him score, but we got to, we just got to be conscious. Definitely could be an RPO. Lots of audibles, lots of audibles. Chuck's one deep to Flowers, still in bounds. First and 10, and he's going to spike it. Good play. He's going to motion Brian Robinson over. I'm going to go on my safety, Xavier McKinney. Ooh, I'm not on the right guy. It might not matter. Michael Vick gets sacked. Third and 21. Ojolari comes in hot. Oh, that was huge. Great work. Intercepted. Hickman's got it. Keep going. Keep going, Hickman. Keep going, Hickman. Oh, does he have the wheels for this? No. But he gets this into field goal range. 12 seconds on the clock. Oh, it's huge. 
All right, we get a beautiful check down here to Davis who gets out of bounds after six yards. I think we just run the ball, call a timeout, and then kick the field goal. I don't think there's any reason to go end zone here. Beautiful, and with two seconds on the clock, we'll call a timeout. Eddie Pinheiro coming out for a 34 yarder. This should be cash money. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, 11 to three. Also guys, something that I just learned. I know I play Madden for a living. I just learned that if your kick power is lower, the meter is slower. Did you guys know that? So if you're struggling to make kicks on all Madden difficulty, like PATs, for example, you just have to have way less power. I, I, I'm sure like most of you already knew that, but I did not. Regardless, we've got an eight point lead here, two quarters of football left and the ball. So we just gotta play smart, be able to come out of here with a W. Oh, this is an obvious run. Look at how open this is. Just kidding, he just fucking hit stick. Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? On the opening play, literally nobody. That was insane. Absolute bailout for the Packers here. Let's see what it does. He's gonna go with an inside. Ooh, that was a good way to get low. Second and four. I think he might just be running stretch. Same thing, other side. Oh, play action. Ball on line, baby! Give me a juke. Ow, jeez. I'm gonna send this one to the left. Can I, can I switch this? Yeah, I'm gonna send this to the left. Ooh, solid. It would be really funny to hit him with an RPO though after he spammed me so hard. I'm gonna try and hit this. <laughs> oh, that's diabolical. There's Terrell Davis with a huge juke. Dude, he's a monster. Let this milk down, go inside zone, and lose two yards. Damn. All right, third and four. A beautiful hitch out of Luke Musgrave. Garrett Wilson press cover. Oh no, Musgrave was open, but no time to throw it. Third and 10, we might have Musgrave. Dude, are you kidding me? I can't even snap and throw? I'm not gonna punt, we gotta go for it. Trey Y flex dagger, baby. Musgrave. Oh no! Good defense! Good tackle. Dude, that pass rush is coming in hot, that possession. Well, damn, I was saying how offensive these games would be. This is 11 to three. He ran stretch out of this last time. That's play action, right? Get home! Look at the pass rush. Good ball. He does get two feet down. That's third and two. This could be stretch alert bubble. It is. This might be the same thing. Might not though. He's play action out of this before. There's play action. Oh, just kidding. It was the same thing. Second and five. I'm gonna bail off of that. He's gonna take the corner route again. And this time he gets to the one, but he's not in. All right, I'm going goal line pinch. I'm expecting QB sneak, but I've stopped this many times before. And that's one, and that's one. Second and goal. I don't know if he comes out and does that again after getting bottled up like that. I don't know. Yeah, QB sneak's not as free as it used to be. Single back ace close. It's not QB sneak, but it could definitely be an RPO. Could definitely be a nice run. Maybe a, I was just gonna say a stretch. I gotta guess that. So what does he go for for the two point conversion? This is huge right here. Single back wing pair, maybe another stretch. Oh, it's a pass. He's got the left side. He does not have that. Wait a minute, Gilmore, go, go. Can we get two out of this? Oh, huge stop. We maintain the two point lead. I was seriously hoping that we could get two points out of that. Give me a field goal lead. Let's come out, call only our best plays and see what we can do. Terrell Davis is tired though. So I really don't want him fumbling. I just wanted to call this to make him think twice and my own fucking lineman just completely ruined that play. I had yards to go. Look at this, look at Dodson. I have this huge hole and Dodson's in my fucking face. Dumbass. There's Musgrave right in the middle. Good catch, keeps the clock running, but we gotta get a little more yards. Third and nine is not gonna cut it. Third and nine, huge play right here. He overcommits to RB and Terrell Davis! Huge pickup. Takes us to the two minute warning. So I could go Musgrave here. Beautiful. Could send Heath Miller underneath of this and send Marset here. Let's just see how this looks. Nice catch, Heath Miller. Third and five here. It's getting intense, man. It's getting real intense. I'm gonna run the ball here. I don't think he expects it. Let's go for it. 
Ooh, I'm not gonna get the best push, but we get fourth and two. This is the ball game if we get it. And if we don't, we lose. So it all comes down to this play right here. Ooh, this is big. I'm just gonna quick snap this. And there's Musgrave. That's the exact route I wanted. Ball game. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> fourth and two. And we put the icing on the cake right there. Oh, that was such a good game. He does not want to see it out. Understandable. Connection to your peer has been lost. The 92 overall gets a dub. All right, boys. We built the 92 team and caught a dub. It was a very close game. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.